Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Devin and today I wanted to create an easy smoky eye and full coverage face look that anybody can achieve with minimal products. So if you'd like to see how I got this smoky eye look, let's just get on into it and without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. As you saw in the intro, today we are going to be doing an easy eyes and easy face makeup tutorial. I'm just going to keep it simple. Um, and easy <laughs> yeah start by priming my face I'm just putting some of these serum drops on okay while well, I'm just letting those um, that serum dry in my skin I guess we can chit chat for a second so I'm sorry that I've been absent um, for the past like week and a half I've been so busy with school and other things and I've just needed you know school is my first priority and I've got to work on that feels so good to be back on YouTube um, I truly truly love doing this and makeup is my passion and I really you know I want to do makeup for the rest of my life so yeah okay now going in with the makeup revolution conceal and define foundation I cannot get enough of this stuff I did a review on this foundation if y'all haven't seen it yet I'll link it in the description box also all products will be linked in the description box but this stuff is buildable and amazing and it's affordable it's only $15 so if you have not gotten this you need to go get your hands on it because ah! <laughs> because this stuff is like amazing I'm just gonna be taking my morphe highlight and contour sponge and blend this all out. This foundation can be used with a brush or a sponge. So that's really nice. I feel like it is covered or full coverage and wearable both ways. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Shape Tape and we're gonna be just brightening up the darker spots of our face. And since we're doing it more simple today I'm just really gonna keep it right underneath my eyes I don't want to really drag it down today just because I'm not doing a full glam look just pretty be blending this out and whatever is left on the beauty blender or whatever is around my under eye I'm gonna be taking that on my eyelid just so we can prime for eyeshadow Now I'm going to take my airspun powder and set that with, really, really, I swear you guys, every video, every single video, I cannot do my makeup without getting it on my shirt. I just threw more, what the heck, okay, let's see, how can I? The mailman just saw me filming. That's not embarrassing at all. Oh my god. He was just like staring through my window. Ah! <laughs> That's a first. Okay, now that I've set my face, I'm just taking what's ever left on that sponge and setting around my rest of my face. Anywhere we put that foundation just because I just think my um, powders apply more seamlessly when I do that. Now I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Pro HD palette right here. It's the contour palette. I love this palette and it's so it's affordable. I believe I only spent $8 on it. And I'm taking my Morphe sponge and dipping it into the vanilla shade right there. And just going to be pressing that under our eyes. Okay, taking that contouring palette, I'm gonna use these two lighter shades right here on a dense brush, tap the excess off, and we're gonna be sucking in our cheeks, and we're gonna follow that line. So, just a light contour. Go around the high points of your face. I'm just going to be blending that out with this brush. It just has some face powder on it, just from what I've used before. And blending that out for 
because we don't want to have any harsh lines. Okay, I'm also going to be taking my Morphe M321 on those two same shades and contouring my nose and then doing the same and blending that out all right that and underneath our lip that just makes your lip look a little more plump and we're gonna blend that out oh my god we're gonna blend that out with our Tarte Shape Tape. Yes, yes we are. No, we're gonna take the blending brush and <laughs> blend that out. All right. Now I might just take a little bit of my bronzer just to warm up the face on my Morphe brush right here. My Morphe R2 brush. This is just the bronzer brush I use all the time. This stuff smells so good. Every time I open this, I cannot help but smell it. So I'm just gonna lightly bronze the face. Just because who doesn't like being bronze? Y'all, I cannot believe that October is already over and we are into November. This is my birthday month, so I love November. October, November, December, those are just my favorite months of the year. It's just a happy time, you know, love, family, presents, good food, like, mm. and okay, please just ignore the hair, I know, it's bad, okay, <laughs> it's bad. Anyway, moving on from the disaster on my head, we are going to go in with some blush. I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. light blush palette. And gonna be using this shade right here and mixing it with this shade right below it just on a blushed brush I'm gonna mix those together tap that excess off and apply to the apples of our cheeks all right and then I'm just gonna be blending that out with my brush right here Now for highlight, I'm taking the Master Chrome Highlighter. This is the collab with Nikki Tutorials. This stuff is so beautiful. I'm just gonna apply a little on the high points of my cheeks. Look at that, it's so pretty. And just to be cleaning up underneath the face, I'm gonna take my Airspun Powder again, and I'm gonna be applying some bake underneath our cheekbones just where we had contoured and we're gonna let this sit while we do our eyes okay so we're gonna let that sit and we are going to move on to our eyes I'm gonna pop on some brows real fast and I'll be right back Okay guys, I popped on some brows and now we're gonna be going in with the eyes. To start out with the eyes, I'm gonna be taking the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill palette in Dark Magic. This is from her Volt collection. I love Morphe and I love all their products and I love Jaclyn Hill so much. So I know I use Morphe a lot here on my channel and no, I'm not sponsored. I wish I was. If uh, Morphe sees this, Morphe, you can hit me up because I love, love, love love y'all so much anyway I'm gonna be going in with the shade poof first just to get our base on our eye I'm gonna be taking my R 37 brush from Morphe tapping that excess off and we are just gonna go straight in with our eyeshadow this is gonna be our base color so we're just gonna put this all over our lid I'm so pale right now that you probably won't even be able to see this but that's okay it's gonna help a lot when we start packing on not packing on when we start applying color and working it in and since today is an easy makeup look we're gonna try to keep the eyes very simple and minimal product okay now since we put after poof we're gonna go in with sh right here this kind of light medium brown color same brush and we're gonna be working that in the transition shade 
So we are going to be going right in our crease, starting from the outer corner and working into the inner corner of our eye. Really make sure you op or lift up your eyebrow to get that nice and tight in your inner corner. Okay, now going in with my Morphe M433 brush, I'm gonna be taking the shade Mojo, this dark chocolate shade, and we're gonna be focusing this on our outer V of our eye. I love that Jacqueline put a mirror in her palette. This is really nice. I've been using the shadows, I just haven't really used the mirror, but I don't know why, because this is a great idea. And I know that lots of palettes come with mirrors, but lots of Morphe palettes do not, so this is a great addition, and I really like it. So we're just going to be focusing this on our outer V, and barely bringing it into our inner corner. Really make sure you're blending it out. You want to go back and forth motions, like that, and then circle it too. We just don't want to have any harsh lines. And I can tell that I'm getting a little fallout right there. So I'm going to clean that up and we're going to stamp with some loose powder on the edge of our eye with our damp beauty sponge just to clean up any fallout and make a nice clean line but it not be too sharp. Go ahead and do it on this side too. And as I need to, I'll go back and apply more as needed. So we're just going to slowly be deepening up this outer V of our eye. And then I'm going to take the R37 in this shade shh, again, and we're going to blend that out because we just don't want any harsh lines like always. Okay, now if you want it to stay, you know, in the Morphe palette, I think Diversion and Power Cut would be beautiful on the lid, but I wanted to go a little different today, and I'm going to be taking one of the L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadows. These are awesome, you guys, and they're affordable at the drugstore. I do not know what shade I want to take. I, I think I'm going to go in with the shade Amber Rush. So this is what they look like. They're in a little square like this. And then when you open it up, it's in a little pot, just like that. So I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M124 brush and I'm gonna be putting this all over that. And I'm gonna be spraying it with some Morphe setting spray. And we're just gonna be applying this all over our lid. I'm just going to be testing out and see what my finger applies it like. I've never done that before with this, these, so, oh yeah, that's beautiful. So these can be applied with a brush in Fix Plus or with your finger. I don't know if I would go in with just a brush that didn't have any Fix Plus. I mean, if you didn't want a turnout with that was really foiled, then that would work, but I do like the foiled effect. So I'm going to go in the same steps on my other eye. First, I'm going to be applying it on the brush, some Fix Plus, and applying that all over the lid. And then I'm going to go back in with my finger and just put a little extra on top. Anyway, I'm going to take the Morphe M514. It's just a smaller, dense brush. I find that this is really easy to get in the crease with. I usually only use my Morphe M433, but I was watching a video from Casey Holmes and she decided, you know, to take a smaller brush and try to get in there and she decided she really liked it. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try that out and it's working very well. So I'm just going to go back in and deepen that up just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna wipe any product that fell underneath my eye. Just clean that up one more time just to make those lines. Nice and clean. Let this sit for just a second and I'm gonna be taking the Morphe, where is it? The Morphe M508 brush and taking our highlighter we used in the beginning, applying that under my brow bone. 
we're going to be applying that in the inner corner as well. Okay, now you can go ahead and wipe that bake away and we're going to start on our under eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe this bake away too. Okay, so for underneath our eyes, I'm going to be taking my definer brush. This is the Morphe M432 and going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to be taking shh first. I don't even know how to say that. How do you say that shh without going shh? I can't. I can't do it. Okay, so <laughs> taking shh on my brush, I'm going to be going underneath my eye with that flat definer brush. Really want to smoke this out, and it will help if you try to follow where your eyeshadow is on the top and connect them. So we're going to put the lighter shade down first, and then we're going to go in with Mojo, the darker chocolate shade, underneath. And I'm going to be focusing Mojo more on the outer corner, and it's going to help really open up the eye more. Now with the Morphe M321, I'm going to be taking shh, oh gosh, shh again and blending that out and just making so we don't have any harsh lines. You know, when somebody blends out their underneath eyeshadow, how can you not look like a crazy person? All right, there is that. I'm loving how this comes out. I love a good smoky eye. And this one is easy and good for you to achieve. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara on my upper lashes. I'm gonna take my Lash in Paradise mascara. This stuff is amazing. If you haven't tried it, check it out. It's from the drugstore. Make sure when you apply lashes that you put the glue on and let it dry for a little bit. You want it to be tacky before you apply them. Alright guys, I went ahead and popped on some lashes. You can see like how much lashes take it more, you know, dramatic. But if you're wanting to go a little more simple and not as dramatic, you know, mascara would be just be perfect like I used to wear mascara all the time I am a true lover for mascara and it just you know either way you know just how you want to wear it okay for lips I'm gonna be going in with a lipstick first this is the Maybelline um, lipstick in blushing beige and I'm going to be topping that with the Milani Lip gloss in Bare Secret. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with some setting spray and then we're gonna go back in with highlight because highlight looks a little more wet and juicy whenever you apply it after you've set your face. So I'm gonna use the Morphe Prep and Set and spray that all over me. All right, going back in with highlight on our Morphe M510 brush. Just gonna be applying that where I already had, just to make it a little more blinding, cause you know, you never can have a tooth. See, you see what I mean? Look at that. Look at that, ah! oh my goodness. Nikki, you like, thank you girl. Thank you for creating this because, okay, I need to stop, I'm going a little too much. Going a little too much, Looker. For the nose, I'm just taking a little brush like this and we're gonna draw a straight line, not too much. And then we're gonna do a dot at the tip of our nose. And I'm gonna use my finger just to blend that in. If you really are trying to make your nose look slimmer, you do not wanna go in too thick with your highlighter on your nose because we just took our time contouring it and you want it to still look slim. If you go too overboard with it, you will make your nose look wider. <laughs> I'm going to apply some on my cupid's bow. And just a little more in our inner corner. Alright guys.
guys this is the final look I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it for y'all if y'all did please give it a big thumbs up down below don't forget to get to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss any of my future videos I upload thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you in the next one bye guys